Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now May 7th of 2023 and as we're getting closer to the Ahsoka Tano series, which by the way is all set and ready to debut by this August, a lot of fans are also getting very well prepared for what's to come next after that. A lot of fans are remaining skeptical however with Skeleton Crew and the Acolyte given that those two projects are mainly Kathleen Kennedy led projects. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike01. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into the latest. Now, what's really exciting about John and Dave's treatment is that it's all about taking the source material from Legends and either A, accurately adapting it into live action form, or B, adapting it very accurately with a twist to it all. And the latest has a lot to do with a very specific plot element that's being developed for a specific project that's going to have a lot to do with some of the core characters that a lot of fans grew up with and some of the fans that recently got to know more about. Now, this, of course, all leads into the Ahsoka Tano series, specifically Season 2 of the Ahsoka Tano series, which, by the way, is in the storyboarding process right now, as well as the notes phase. Everything is being finalized beforehand before they move on to the script. So, moving on to the next thing here is that with Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau actively working on Star Wars Ahsoka, both Disney and Lucasfilm are beginning to develop other shows as well. However, one of the storyboards that were complete for the second season of Ahsoka that's already being worked on by Dave Filoni involves a special moment that is planned to be released in 2025 that has been finalized for the story for Anakin and Ahsoka plus other characters. Now it's noted that one of the sequences takes place within the world between worlds where Ahsoka was able to communicate with Jedi of the past as force ghosts. This involved Qui-Gon Jinn, Yoda, and Obi-Wan teaching her about the netherworld of the force. John and Dave here are said to be doing something special that adapts what was done in the novelization of Return of the Jedi with a big twist, however. Now, Ahsoka in the scene is said to open a portal that leads to the moment Luke is witnessing his father's last breath as Anakin. It's in this moment that both Obi-Wan's Force Ghost and Ahsoka teach Anakin to guide him on becoming one with the Force. Now, just to be specific, Ahsoka is not a Force Ghost here. She is working with Obi-Wan's Force Ghost by connecting to Anakin. Now further, it's planned to be a very emotional scene that will use archived footage from Return of the Jedi and will provide unused themes by John Williams for the scene. So again, what I like so much about John and Dave so far is that they really are really focused on reusing John Williams themes, either from the prequels or the, re the originals, whatever it may be. They want to find any way that they can to use them in these upcoming shows and movies that they're also working on. But what's great about this so much is that this combines what was done in the novelization of Return of the Jedi, where Obi-Wan teaches Anakin on how to become a Force ghost, where now, basically what's happening is... Obi-Wan is technically still doing that, but he's working with Ahsoka as well, while she's still alive, in the WBW, the World Between Worlds, connecting to that moment in time in the past to teach Anakin on how to become a Force Ghost. What's interesting here is that this is somewhat of a time warp. It's making it apparent that it's in these moments that Obi-Wan and Anakin intervened at a moment in time in the past to make this actually happen. I don't know if a lot of fans are going to hate this or love this, but it sounds interesting. It may very well be risky, but I'm not quite sure how a lot of fans are going to really accept this, or even if they're going to accept it. Now, on to the next. Now, some shots of Vader unmasked are planned to be completely repurposed and refilmed digitally to enhance the Sebastian Shaw design of Anakin. As Anakin dies while Obi-Wan and Ahsoka spectate his death, this is when the portal begins to close, where Ahsoka and Obi-Wan begin to hear Anakin's voice in an echoey manner reaching out to them. It's in this moment where Anakin appears as Hayden Christensen's iteration of Anakin from Avenger of the Sith and the later version of Return of the Jedi with Hayden's head insert. Hayden is planned to become a part of this big moment where he thanks Ahsoka for providing his eternal peace and that they will see each other again soon and that he will always be with her. 
He thanks her and crosses into the netherworld with Obi-Wan as Anakin vanishes. Now, what's interesting about this, before I get to the next big thing here, is that what John and Dave are establishing is that they're taking key moments from the novelization of Return of the Jedi. Again, I can't stress this enough. I love that book. I love the novel. It's great. Go ahead and read it up. Toward the end, you do learn that Obi-Wan teaches Anakin on how to become a Force ghost. It's actually quite emotional. In this moment, Anakin is saying, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry to Obi-Wan, all these different things. And he crosses. But here, the big twist is that both Obi-Wan and, of course, Ahsoka are working together to make this happen through the world between worlds. Very interesting stuff. That, to me, is interesting, to say the least, because Dave Filoni is utilizing a portal that goes to a moment in the past to make this happen. Does this suggest that they are currently in the present, where Anakin never became a Force ghost? I'm not quite sure. That's what it seems like it's going towards, and that's exactly why I think a lot of fans may like this or dislike this. It's one of those twists and or turns that may rub fans the wrong way, but if it is established or executed very well, it could absolutely work. Now, given that Hayden is coming back, Rosario is coming back, as well as Hugh McGregor for Ahsoka Season 2, this is going to be interesting because we know that John and Dave have plans to basically create Obi-Wan to appear like Sir Alec Guinness in one of the upcoming projects. And without a doubt, it is Ahsoka Season 2 here because they are utilizing Obi-Wan in this one specific scene for the second season due for release in late 2025. Now again, the thing that I find so emotional about this is that you have these three characters that knew each other very, very well working together. Ahsoka knew Obi-Wan very well and vice versa, but you gotta remember also that Obi-Wan was the master of Anakin, but Anakin was also the master of Ahsoka. So you have this trio that just feels right because all these characters have had a lot of interactions with each other and have had a very long past and meaning you know, in their lifetime. And it just seems perfect that Dave Filoni is approaching it in this way. The only flaw that I think fans may not like is that it seemingly is making it canon that this is taking place in the present where Anakin never became a forest ghost in a very odd weird way I don't know if it's considered the present the context is a little confusing so we can't really say for sure but they are in the world between worlds and it's very interesting that they are treating it as such that it might be based in the present but we'll have to wait and see Again, Ahsoka is going to utilize the WBW in the first season, but only so much. Season 2 is where it's going to get real heavy. So overall, I would really like to hear what you guys have to say about the archived footage from Return of the Jedi being reworked in there with repurposed footage as well. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.